yesterday, the River State uh, Ministry of Health, in conjunction with the Primary Health Care Board, had a program in our community, in our community, in our local government. And uh, um, they have a health program. I were the host. Uh, the program started, they kept uh, materials, the canopies, and the chairs for, for the rental to start. Uh, it's a government facility, it's not a private uh, facility. So the former speaker of the University of Assembly, Matthew Tamiwuli, called the DP of Upper Police Station to come there. I told the DP, this is the government program. The Commissioner for Health is going to be here. The executive secretary of Public Health Care Board is also going to be in this program. So I want them to do what they are doing. The mothers are there, the pregnant women are also there. They sit there and the women were playing their music and all that. And the next thing that happened again, the area commander came in and asked the way to leave the venue. I went back and said, no, this is a government. Can you imagine these people do whatever they are doing? You can see that the pregnant women are there. They are there. The next thing that happened, I called the deputy commissioner of police instead of operation. I told him, the information they are giving to you is false. That this place is a government head. What was the information? What was the information they said they got? The, the, police? Information, the information they gave to the police was that uh, they are doing a program, a, government, a political program close to the residence of the, part of, uh, the, uh, the former speaker. The father is very close to the health center. Oh, is that, 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 that's the government facility. So, that was the information they gave, and uh, the people are crying there. I told the deputy commissioner that this, this is uh, he not said he not understand that we can go ahead with what we are doing. After a few minutes again, the police come there again and ask everybody to leave. I said, for what? It was about uh, 30 minutes. A different troop came in there, started shooting their gas led by the uh, smart crashes. And is abusing the women, shooting tear gas on them. Even in the social media, even the little baby. I was with the mother beating up pregnant women. In the name of politics. And the, the, the police, uh, the police uh, spokesperson have lied to river people that it was too far How can two thousand be fighting in a health facility? Is it possible? Mm. Can you hear us? I can hear you. All right. So the spokesperson of the police, uh, police command, Eric Koko, got great. Men they said that this one is too far How can two thousand be fighting inside a health facility? They came in there and asked people to leave. Who said no? They should mend there. That's the program. You cannot see that the police command has taken back. So the, abusing and molesting people, pregnant women, beating the them there. So at the time, at the time this was happening, did you get back in touch with the Deputy Commissioner of Police to say, well, I, I thought called, we are settled I, this? I called the Deputy Commissioner and I told him, this is the right information. Send your people to call. And I said, okay, that I have heard what I said. After two, uh, 10 minutes, Matalati came there and said before, started abusing and shooting people. It's, it, it's everywhere. But we are beating the also and tend to what I'm telling you. That I'm not saying that a program that is sponsored by River State Government of Health, because of politics, the former speaker, Manga Bebu, said this new world. You see why we said River State Police Command has taken side. This is a health program, not a political command, not a political gathering. You know, the, the, the police post have come to misinform Nigeria.